That is correct. And it's not just the Ahmadiyya community, but the vast majority of Muslims do not believe in terrorism. Those who profess to believe in Islam and those who do carry out terror attacks or condone them, are they just a, a loud minority within the Islamic community? Yes, it is a very small minority, but it is loud. And what we need to be clear about that enemy is not Islam. It is the radicalism that is our enemy. And anyone catering to or teaching radicalism under the cover of Islam or any other religion must be dealt with. You say that the uh, Quran requires Muslims to forbid violence. There are some on the Islamic side who would say the exact opposite. Is this just a, a different interpretation of the Quran? Quran has several verses that talks about the human rights, the sanctity of life, and one of them uh, says that if you kill a life, if, if you kill a person unjustly, it's like killing the whole mankind. So we focus on that, and there are some verses that people interpret uh, as in a silo, and they don't look at their context and just use them to justify the radical and uh, violent means. But Islam is a peaceful religion. One typical criticism that has been made over the years since the September 11th, 2001 attacks is that people like yourself, people like the Ahmadiyya community, have been less than willing to come forward. I mean, perhaps out of fear of their own lives, they've been not willing to come forward and condemn Muslims who carry out terrorist attacks. W would that be a fair assessment in your mind, because you're clearly doing the opposite here? Yeah, I'm a DM Muslim community, who are the Muslims who believe in Messiah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, Nasadiyan. We are very open in condemning these, these events or these uh, bad actions that some people take. And we take every opportunity possible to condemn these actions. No religion, and especially not Islam, supports any terrorism or radical views, but we know that different religions, the followers who claim to be the followers of different religions, have used violence and terrorism to justify their, their twisted um, uh, targets or ideas. But religion should not be uh, brought into this discussion. Islam, just like any other religion, is a peaceful religion, and the, the American public should realize that uh, Engaging Muslims instead of treating them as suspects is probably the best way to move forward and to defeat radicalism. When you make statements like that, and by the way, we're talking to Musafar Ahmad with the Ahmadiyya Muslim community here in Indianapolis, and of course the Ahmadiyyas are all over the world. When you make a statement like that, do you have any fear at all of any repercussions from those in the Islamic community who don't see it that way, who see whether it's uh, America as the nation of infidels and, and America is the nation that uh, does not deserve to live uh, because it does not follow their version of the Quran. Do you fear that radical sect of Muslims when you speak out against them? Well, there's always a chance of being targeted when you speak against radicalism, but uh, that is the right thing to do, and that really is the purpose why the Ahmadiyya Muslim community was created by its founder more than 150 years ago, and now it is spread in more than 150 countries. And we are willing to take that risk, not only to promote the true meaning and true teachings of Islam, but also to tell those who are not Muslims or who do not have a positive image of Islam that Islam really is a religion of peace, and its original teaching are peaceful, and uh, that's really what we're trying to, to spread. And uh, if there are some dangers on the way, I, I guess we are willing to take those. How many skeptics do you still run into? Despite, I mean, this isn't obviously the first time that you or the Ahmadiyya community has said something like this over the years, but I would imagine that if you were to go out on the street and start talking to folks, some would naturally agree with you, they would be on your side, but there would be some skeptics out there. Of course, there are people who may not agree with me or with the general view of the Muslim community about uh, terrorism or about Islam's peaceful message. And there are always those people who have different opinions. But the good thing being in the U.S. and being here in Indianapolis is that we have rule of law. So nobody can unjustly hurt anybody, 
And uh, we feel safe, especially in the U.S. and in Indianapolis, to speak up and be heard and still feel safe that uh, our, our lives and our properties and everything will be safe. And we are, again, we are open to discussion, and uh, we like to engage and talk to different people about different ideas. Uh, who are some of the people that you've talked to before when you've gone out in, into the community and tried to engage and say, look, you know, we are, we are Islam, we are Muslims, but we are not them. We are not those who are trying to kill people, whether it's in this country or elsewhere. Who, who are some of the folks that you've talked to? Yeah, Ray, let me tell you about uh, the event we did in uh, February. Uh, that was a conference we organized in the Indianapolis Central Public Library. And we invited uh, probably around 400 uh, people from the community, just neighbors who live in Indianapolis and around Indianapolis. And there were about uh, 50 to 100 people who showed up, and we talked about teachings of Islam. And there were question-answer sessions, and some people did uh, throw pretty, uh, what should I say, open questions to us, and saying, well, you claim to be a peaceful religion, but uh, some people don't agree with it. And why don't you condemn terrorists enough? And we openly told them that we condemn terrorism, we condemn extremists in Islam, but we, we want to emphasize that Ameri- profiling American Muslims is not the solution. If anything, it can adversely provoke resentment among some Muslims who are on the fringe and may seek revenge. So the best way forward is to treat Muslims as a U.S. citizen, and uh, try to know more Muslims. And we are talking largely about uh, U.S. citizens here when we talk about the Ahmadiyya community. I mean, you guys, I take it, you you love America just like anybody else. Exactly. I am a U.S. citizen. I immigrated here, but uh, it feels like home. And the Ahmadiyya Muslim community also believe that loyalty to one's country where we are living in is part of our faith. So it's not just something we are saying because I'm an immigrant and I live here and I am a U.S. citizen. I also believe that it's part of my faith to be loyal to the USA, which I now call my home. Is this, for lack of a better term, schism among various parts of Islam, is that something that will ever be healed down the road? Or is it like... Uh, disagreements among doctrine among uh, Christian denominations, for example, is that just something that is always going to be there? I think there is always going to be a very small minority who will use violence to justify their you know, their end. But I think Islam is going through a phase where the extremism is on a rise, just like the Crusaders were using Christianity to justify their violence. Uh, Islam is going through that same pace, and I'm sure that I'm hopeful and I pray that this extremism, the wave of extremism will subside and will soon start to see Islam as a peaceful religion. The website of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is muslimsforpeace.org. Muzaffar Ahmad with the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Uh, really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, glad for the opportunity. Glad for the opportunity. Glad for the opportunity.